by someone who's representing a constituency in the next election. Now, you're not an average man on the street walking around, sort of, put this in your front lawn, are you backing them? You are representing someone. Now, yes. you're I'm out on the, the no, no. Yeah, you're and out on the batter yeah. in your purple tie. And you kit badge. And more importantly, you you kit badge. Right. And you're well, out on the pitch. To... So people are going to elect someone who eyes are going set. No, not going to say going on the pitch is the wrong thing. Not at all. Uh, I believe you'd be with me. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong having a couple of bites. We deserve uh, that. Politician that yeah. goes out to the fest. Then not got no, not when they are wearing that party colours. Right, Luke. I've now, been, let's I've been say out, no. Right. From look, this is from David, from David Cameron to. Uh, your man Griffin do you live from the BMT. Yes, no, 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 no. Well, we my do man, with, yeah. No, no, my turn. I, from David Cameron to Griffin from the BMT, sitting down next to me. Few beers, the chat is fine. However, that is. they are not wearing on the pitch down in the pub. They're not doing that. How right. is that striking confidence among um, the box popular? It's not, an, is it? It's not. Now, right. Now, I'm fully tomorrow night, there's a chap. Uh, I don't know. Wednesday night. Bye bye! I thought it's Thursday that we had party right. stuff. Okay. So, tomorrow night, there's a thing in the film theatre. Right? <laughs> a chap called Paul Breeze. Is it first of the nation? I don't know what it's called. Paul Breeze, uh, I was at his funeral last Tuesday. You have a council, yeah, we know. Councillor, yes, we're yeah. well aware. God bless you. Yeah. Right, and I'll be there tomorrow night. Now, well, well done to you. What does that prove? It just proves I'm not the evil people in a more senior role. But no, there are. I knew the bloke. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, you, you don't know. We don't know. We, we, no, Miss Price. Mate, I was born and raised here. My family live here. Up in Ike. And you're. Yeah. Oh, you got a problem with people like? No. But you're in about fucking Moorlands area, aren't you? Well, what's the difference between Moorlands and Stoke? So. Leak is a part of Staffordshire Morley. Or you're just going you know, to go. Dude, well, okay, okay, no, 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 Phil, 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 Phil. Let the man speak. It is part of Staffordshire Morley. Yeah. yeah, okay, so what, 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 what no, I, I'm not denying it, so what's the difference between Stoke and Staffordshire Morley? Please explain. I don't know what Well, you tell me, you're the one saying there's a difference. You're, you're not the one that's blaming uh, me. Oh no, I'm not moaning yet, that's why I'm asking you to explain. So, it's all fine then. Well, what would you say were key issues affecting Stoke on Trent, which aren't affecting the staff to almost to the same scale? No, I know. Like the, uh... Right, it's okay. Um... We've got issues with traffic. Traffic, yeah. We've got traffic issues. We've got traffic issues on my mind. Sure. Yeah, obviously. Um, we've got a lot of corruption. Corruption west. Yeah. 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 Well, every all local authorities are suffering as due to the Tory budget cuts. So, would you say immigration was an issue? We already know what the immigration issue is. Um, no, I don't. Well, boys, it's fine. Um, 
Okay, the immigration issue is that everybody's allowed to free flow over the border. Well, only 27 EU nations will have free flow over the border. Right, so, uh, Turkey. Which isn't part of the EU and has a visa program. It's the only part of the EU. Well, okay, what's wrong? Oh, well, wow. I'm nearly a unicorn. Well, so hang on, so Turkey's new part of the EU, yeah? But it's not part of the EU, is it? So why is there. Why, so why is there. Have you got, have, have you got an issue? Have you, have, you uh, have you got an issue with Turkey joining the EU? And if so, st- okay, what are your issues with Turkey joining the EU? My, my issue with Turkey joining the EU is. Hi, Bell! Uh, my issue with Turkey joining the EU is the fact that if they do, we're going to have a free run of people who want to go off to Syria and all this. Some would argue we had that free run already. And some would argue Turkey joining the EU had made no difference to that. In fact... No, actually, no, you get So what are you having in the Give me statistics on what you've just said. What are your statistics? Say that. There aren't any. There aren't any. I haven't got any. You haven't got any. So, what you've just said is fabricated with your own beliefs. So, you. With your own personal opinion. So, Phil, Phil, yes yes or no? You believe if they let Turkey into the EU, more people would join ISIS. Is that what you've just said? No, it's not. It sounds to me like that's what you just said. Phil, what did it sound like to you? It sounded very much the same. So if we elected Turkey into the EU, what would we be accepting? Alright, look at our adoption of our EU. Well, what's, what has Crimea got to do with Turkey? Turkey's a completely different issue to Crimea. Well, explain, explain, explain how Crimea and Turkey are similar issues. Why not? Answer the question. I don't know whether either of you is on fucking campus if you've got the pockets. Yeah, but why not? Why wouldn't you have them? Mate, I can prove you, I've not got a camera pocket. What strikes me as is you don't have confidence either in yourself or your party to answer. Wait, it's my turn. You either don't have confidence in yourself that you say something you shouldn't, or reveal something within your party. Answer the question. I might have a particular opinion, alright, but I can't be seen as giving an opinion that you are a public party since you're a representing office. Answer the question. Right, okay, ask the question, Why are Turkey's membership of the EU and the Russian annexation of the Crimea two sides of the same coin? Because it occurs to me they're very different issues in very different socio-economic backgrounds regarding very different things. The socio-economic background of it is... Is what? It's very complicated. Well, uh, well explain it to me then, because I'm not very clever. Alright, what you have to consider though is. Uh, right, the Euro. Okay. Yeah, okay, the Euro. Take, take, take the Greek exit from the Euro. Yeah? Okay. Now, the reason why the 